and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I almost said Sunday then because it feels like a Sunday here in the UK. It is a bank holiday Monday due to King Charles III's coronation on Saturday, um, which which has thrown me all off kilter. Um, I barely know what, what day it is and I've had a very busy day today. I'm recording this at about 5pm, which is much later than I normally like um, to, to start my video duties for the day, let me tell you. Normally I start them... Um, sort of early afternoon. Um, so I called up Mark and, and I said, Mark, uh, I've got this long list of incredibly difficult puzzles that have passed the testers, um, but I might need something that, that I'm pretty guaranteed to be able to do today. And he giggled his little head off and has sent me a puzzle, which is not the one on the screen, which many of you will recognize as yesterday's puzzle. Uh, he suggested I open, um, I open the link on the video, which I'm very happy to do. And let's, I'm, I'm just hoping that he hasn't sent me something silly. So let me just uh, copy and paste this link in and we will see what we will see. I've got too many old puzzles. Yes, that's, we've got a, we've got a cat. That's really weird. Um, We've got a puzzle called Schrodinger's Cat by, oh, Christian A. Now, I like Christian A puzzles. I have done, I want to say, two Christian A puzzles on the channel before. One of them was Back to the Future, and one of them, uh, we titled it something like uh, the puzzle of the Instagram logo because it had um, it had an enormous thermometer in it. It was sort of a thermometer deconstruction. Absolutely fabulous puzzle. This is looking very pretty indeed. And uh, the reason I'm just sort of, pausing is is that I don't have many announcements to do today but the, the announcement I was going to do was in fact about a cat um and so this is really strange um but let me should we read the rules because I think until I read the rules I'm not going to be able to tell you very much about this so we'll, we'll do the rules today to start with and then we can we can take stock and then I'll do the announcements and then we can get cracking so, oh, normal-ish Sudoku rules apply. Put the digits zero to nine into each row, column and box once each. In order to allow this, each row, column and box will have one Schrodinger cell, which contains ex exactly three. Oh, I hadn't even, <laughs> even realised realize this was an eight by eight. How can I not realize that? Oh, that's so strange. Right, this is an eight by eight grid. And there are Schrodinger cells, so not even Schrodinger cells. So the joke here is that Schrodinger cells is something the um, the adventurous constructors have brought into the world of Sudoku, which have sort of two personalities at the same time. Um, so this cell could be one of two digits. Now, Christine has taken this to even, even greater extremes by having Schrodinger cells and we're going to have to find the Schrodinger cells in the puzzle that have three digits in them. Um, the value of any Schrodinger cell is the sum of its three digits. This will affect the arithmetic on arrows, renbands, German whispers and Kropke dots. Oh, look, and then, it, then it's defining what these are. So arrows, the values of cells along an arrow sum to the value in that arrow's circle. Ren band. The values of cells on a Ren band purple line form a set of non-repeating consecutive numbers in any order. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> this is going to be bonkers, isn't it? Um, I don't even know how to think about this. So we're going to have to find, there's, there's more rules as well, but I'm just starting to think about how Ren bands might work. German whispers. The values of cells along a green line must differ uh, by at least five. Quadruples. The digits contained in the small white circles, that's these two clues, um, must each appear at least once in the four surrounding cells. Crop key. Black dots separate cells whose values have a one to two ratio. Okay, I can see there are a few of these dotted around. Note that two of the Ren bands and two of the German Whispers lines join cells that are a knight's move apart. For example, row six, column one, that cell, and row five, column three, must differ by at least five. 
Oh, yeah, okay, I see that now. Look at this uh, whisper line. You can see, it. I don't think it goes into this square. It looks like it sort of passes by the edge of it. But it's actually joining the centres of this cell and this cell. So it's, it's a three cell whisper line is I think what that instruction is telling us. There's another one on this side of the grid. And what did it say about the Ren band lines? Which, oh, I see, it's these two. Right, so this... This, all we're really being told is that those two digits are consecutive and those two digits are consecutive. What an incredibly clever picture as well. Um, now, all, all I know about the difficulty of this one, which, which doesn't strike me at first blush, it doesn't strike me as easy. Um, I was going to say all I know about the difficulty is that Mark um, thinks it's a good puzzle for me to start at 10 past five uh, in the afternoon. So I think it must be doable. Um, and we'll have a go at this in a moment. But let, let me, I, I don't have any birthdays to do today, but I do, I did want to give a shout out to one of our viewers, Rob, over there in Perth in Australia. Um, but Rob is a molecular biologist, um, but he sadly last night had to say goodbye to his pet cat, Monty. And I have a picture of Monty here, which is, I mean, really actually touched me when I saw the picture. Monty is the fluffy brown cat on the left. And this cat, it looks like he's looking after Monty, uh, is called Jimmy. Um, and I think that Monty's been in a lot of pain for a few months. And Rob's been sort of sitting up at night uh, looking, after, looking after Monty and watching our videos to sort of pass the time. Um, and we had a lovely email from Rob. He's, it's obviously um, a big loss. And I think anybody who's ever had a ever had a pet will know will know that feeling um, and we hope that Monty's watching down now in a better place Rob thanks very much for your email and we're sorry for your loss and maybe Monty would approve of Schrodinger's cat isn't that isn't that serendipitous that's so weird isn't it that the, the puzzle that Mark sent me is a picture of a cat and the announcement that I had to do today was about little Monty. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Do I have any other news for you? Um, no, I don't, I don't think. Just uh, check out The Jewels of Osiris, which is May's monthly reward over on Patreon. It's going gangbusters and it's a lot of fun. But now I've read the rules. Do I understand the rules? I'm not sure I do actually. I was reading them and trying to understand them. But basically, let, let, can we just, let's ignore this Schrodinger rule and just check that we understand the rules. So on a black dot, one digit will be double the other, except that it might be affected by Schrodinger's obviously. Green lines, adjacent digits differ by five. Arrow cells, uh, okay, so we have, we have got an enormous arrow here. So let's look at this arrow, because that, that one looks comedy. Um, along this arrow, the digits, you add up the digits, and you plonk that number in the circle. But of course we've got zeros in this as well. And what was the other, oh, Remban. So normally a Remban line, if this was a one, we would know that two and three have to appear. Oh no, that's not right because we've got zero in this puzzle. Ah, well, let's say that we knew that this line contained four, five, and six. Four, five, that's fine because four, five, and six are consecutive. Everything is gonna be affected by Schrodinger's which have a value equal to the sum of the three digits you put in the cell. Um, and I can't remember if there was another rule as well. Oh, the quadruple clues. We've got to put six, seven, eight, nine around these cells. But presumably we could make that cell, for example, nine, eight, seven. Although, although that would break the REM band, so we're not going to do that because you couldn't make, if this, if this cell had a value of 24, how could you make that work? This would have to be like a 23 and this would have to be a 22 and that would require more than one Schrodinger cell in the box and that won't work. So Kristin A has totally and utterly played with our heads here. Um, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. I'm realised it's getting dark in my, in my office. I never like solving in the dark. Um, but I think I'm tempted to start here by looking at shredding a cat's face because this must be a shredding a cell i'm assuming um because i can't see how i'm going to make 
all of these digits add up to 9, for example. In fact, oh yes, okay, look, we can do this easily. L look at the cells on the ear of Schrodinger's cat in box 1. There are 5 such cells. Now, even though we can use 0 in this puzzle, the minimum value of those 5 cells is 10 because we could put 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 into them and I know what 1, 2, 3 and 4 add up to through years of long experience and being able to add up and adding 0 to that total doesn't change the answer which is 10. So we've got 10 here and on the other ear we've got another 10 so that's already 20. So this cell it must be a shreeding a cell because I can't well, obviously, it just must be. <laughs> We've got, we're going to need lots and lots of digits in here. In fact, hang on. Do we know that this is seven, eight, nine? Then, ha! Ah, hang on, hang on. Maybe this has got, to, maybe this has got to be a maximum. Um, so we've got at least twenty from those cells. I suppose we could have zero and one here, couldn't we? So that's twenty-one. That could be a, that could be a zero. So that's not even adding any more. Uh, that could be zero one. That's twenty two, and that could be zero one. So that's twenty three. Oh, points. So unless I've done that wrong, this could be six. It's either six eight nine or seven eight nine for sure. But I'm not sure. One two three four five. Six. Yes, I am sure. Ah, right. This is very cute indeed, actually. That square is seven, eight or nine. Because I cannot actually make the cat's face add up to less than 24. And that is because um, it's actually this row that breaks the breaks the conundrum that I was worried about. So Remember what I said, I thought those cells could be a zero, zero, one, two, three, four quintuple, adding up to 10. And I said the same was true here. Well, that, that would seem to be the minimum, except look at this row. There's too many digits um, for these cells to be just selected from zero, one, two, three, and four. There are, there are six cells there. So the minimum these digits could be would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the fact that there must be at least a 5 on this line means that I can't make those cells only add up to 20. They must add up to at least 21. And that breaks that, that means 23 is not an option for the cat's face. 24 is forced. So this is a 789 shredding a cell and that means that I'm going to do some shading because I'm going to shade everything in the row column and box some color we'll make it mm, yellow yellow the yellow feels right I don't really want to use green because that's going to overlap with the green of the whisper um, I could use, no, a grey again. Grey is going to overlap with the thermometer, not the thermometer, the arrow. <laughs> right, so we're going to make these yellow. And, and what we're going to do, because we know that, we know that these top cells add up to, what's it going to be, 21. We know we have to keep everything else down to an absolute minimum. So that square is a zero. It's got to be a zero. This has got to be a zero one pair. Uh, this has got to be a zero one pair. This has got to be ah. Uh, this has got to be a zero one pair, but that's resolved. So zero one. Um, this is obviously doing some things on the whisper lines. Yes, I suppose the other the corollary of what we've been doing which I hadn't thought of until now is there's simply no way that anything on the cat the cat's face can be a shredding a cell because in in coming up with the bare minimum i was assuming only one digit in each cell so in fact what we can do is yellowify the whole of the cat the whole of the cat's face like that now can we do better at the top then so we know that these cells in this row are zero one two three four and five so they add up to 15, 
which means these cells, there are five of those, must add up to, what did we say we were trying to get to? Um, oh, I feel like I've broken this, actually. Have I broken this? I needed 21 at the top, didn't I? So how do I keep these down? to six um what's going on 15 21 oh that one's not in <laughs> I, was, I, was, I can't do it i couldn't do it and that's because that square is not on the cat's face I was completely nonplussed by that. That makes more sense. Four cells that have to add up to six, I can do. Zero, one, two, and three. Okay, that's a relief. Right, so what does this mean? So there's got to be a shreding a cell in one of these two cells. Uh, because this row needs a shreeding a cell, otherwise we can't fit in all the digits. This is very peculiar to look at. Um, one of these three cells. Oh, oh, look, hang on. This whisper line is full of correct and non-shreeding a digits, but but this being a zero is weird because normally on a German whisper line you can't put a five anywhere on it, but in this puzzle you can because zero is five away from five. So these two squares, which have to be five different from zero, are five, six, seven, eight, and nine, I think. Oh no, they're not, <laughs> they're not, they're not, because they see a seven, eight, nine in their region. Oh, that's weird. Right, okay, so this is a five, six pair. So, hang on, so I can just place one in this box by Sudoku, I think. I think that's got to be a one. That's a normal cell. This zero one pair look, rules out that one, and that one rules out this one. So in the rest of this box, I've got two, three, and four to place. And one of those is on a black Kropke dot. So this square is, if this is a two, this is a four because it can't be a one if this is a three this is a six and if this is a four this is an eight but i'm just pausing there because i'm asking myself no this can't be a shreding a cell because if it was a shreding a cell it couldn't have zero or one in it so it would be a minimum of two three and four which add up to nine and nine is too much to be just double one of these digits so that is a yellow cell. And there's a, right, and there's a shreeding a cell in one of these cells. Oh, I see, but that could be there. Imagine this was 235, for example, although that might be a bad choice. No, 235, I think, is a bad choice. But I, I can, you know, 2, 3, and 5 add up to 10, so that this could clearly be a digit. Uh, a sort of normal Sudoku digit if this was a Schrodinger digit because it could be half of the sum of these digits and if this is a Schrodinger cell it just ha it well it just will be won't it because it would add up to it would be at least a two three four triple in the cell that would add up to nine and nine is definitely more than five away from one good grief um Oh, I've got to restore this yellow now because that yellow, yes, okay, that was the problem I had in the top row. I was equating yellow with the cat and that was totally unwarranted. Right, how does this clue work then? Because this clue... Well, okay, one of, the, one of these is a Schrodinger cell. Because I have to put, yes, <laughs> this is obvious actually, although it's strange. Um, I've got to put 7, 8 and 9 around this quadruple clue. But they can't go there because of Sudoku. 
So the 789 must go into these cells, but there are three digits then to put into a maximum of two cells. So one of the digits at least, or one of the cells at least must have two digits, which means there is a Schrodinger cell in one of those, which means these are not Schrodinger. This isn't Schrodinger. These are not Schrodinger. So that's a Schrodinger cell. That's forced. Good grief. Um, that's the only place Schrodinger can live in box one, which means that's not Schrodinger. These are not Schrodinger. So one of these is Schrodinger now. <laughs> Nori Nori saying Schrodinger, Schrodinger a lot. Right. So now though, surely I cannot make this two of these digits and make a Rembrandt. That's impossible. That's clearly impossible. If if this was a Schrodinger cell. It's got to have in it two of these digits at least. I mean, I could hide a nine down here, but then seven and eight would have to be in this cell. And it would have to be seven, eight plus two at least. Seven, eight and two is, it's, it's so big, it's, it's ludicrous. It's 17. And that would mean that this Renban had to contain something at a minimum, 17, 16, 15. I can't write 16 and 15 into these two squares. So that square is yellow. This square is is um, Schrodinger, but now, now, now it's weird because this square it could have it could have seven, eight, and nine in it. Could it? If that had seven, eight, and nine in it, if it had seven, eight, and nine in it. But hang on, hang on. I think this Remban is, is what I have to think about, isn't it? I might be wrong about this, but one of these digits, seven, eight or nine is on this Renban and the other two digits. No, that's wrong because this could be seven, eight and nine. Ah, right. I know how to think about it. Right. OK, if I put seven, eight and nine in here, this Renban has to be six five four because it's got it's got we've got to put six into these three squares and six is going to be on the remban and we can't put seven eight nine on the remban if this is seven eight nine so this so if this is seven eight nine this is six five four that's one possibility if however we put just two of these digits in here Well, the digit from here that goes on the Renban would have to be the seven. Because if, say, we put seven and nine in here and we put eight on the Renban, how can we ever have this as a consecutive sequence? You can't. You need, you can't put the seven. If, if any of these digits is on the Renban, it must be the seven. Because that way you can go seven, six, five. So there's definitely eight and nine in here. And that looks like it's doing something to this, this quadruple clue. There's definitely nine and eight in here. There might be seven. If there is not seven, seven will go on the Renban where eight cannot go. So this will be seven, six, five. Right. So this is, this has always got six and five on it, this Renban. It might have seven. It might not. We need to add an X to this. Oh, how do I do that? X. This has got another digit in it, which could be seven, but can't be five or six, and it can't be zero or one. Um, but now surely I can do something with this, can't I? Oh, now I've got a problem. I can hear the chorus of people on the internet saying, no, 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 Simon. You have many more than just this problem. <laughs> you have a multitude of problems, my friend. Um, yes, that's all true. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Now I have to put... Well, okay. Yeah, okay, so 
now I know for sure that eight and nine are on this Renban. And the only question that we then ask is are they set are they in separate cells or not? And they must be in separate cells. Because if they were in the same cell, they would add up to at least 17 plus a 2, say. That's 19. And again, this Rembrandt would have to be 19, 18, 17 at a minimum, which is ludicrous. Now, the only thing I'm just questioning in my brain is, could it be something like... No, if, if, even if I put the 8 and the 9 in different cells and then I make the 8 Schrödinger and I add 2 and 3 to it, which is the minimum I could add, that still gets me to 13, which is not sequential with 9, is it? So, so, the, so this is an 8-9 pair and, and it's yellow. Now... Okay, so this is this is all natural. This this this, uh, this two by two now I think, because now I've got to put six and seven into the. Oh, hang on. Oh, well the reason it well a good reason it's natural is that that's Schrödinger. So they're all yellow, and that's therefore a Schrödinger cell. Okay, that's fine, isn't it? I was thinking they have to be natural anyway. Although this one, I suddenly realised maybe that could be Schrödinger, but this I knew was natural because it would have to be. Um, if it if it was Schrödinger, it would have to include at least one of the digits six and seven, and at least a two and a three to accompany it, and that would add up to more than ten. This is complicated. <laughs> All right, so we now know that this is a 6-7 pair in order to fulfill the quadruple clue. So this is not a 6 or a 7. This... Ah, so the X here is not a 7 now. This is something else. I'm not sure what we get from that, but we know that 6 is not here. So 6 is up here. This must be 7 to make sure the Remban work. That must be 6. These two squares are... Well, they're <laughs> from 2, 3, 4 and 5. But that one is... So, how? Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so this, this domino here, it may not look like it is, but it is a 2, 3, 4, 5 quadruple, which means that square is not 2, 3, 4 or 5, and that square is not 2 or 3. And that seems to give me a 0, 1 pair in the box, so that's not 0 or 1. Oh, don't forget this Renban as well. That's fine. Those two cells are sequential, and somehow or other I've proved they're sequential, although they could have been the same, I suppose, absent the logic that they must now be different. Oh, look, yeah, I'm going to use this one on this. Oh, that's not very good. Just rule three out of that square. Because these two have to be sequential. That one is not zero or one by Sudoku. Look, there's a zero one looking at it. So that's, oh, so this, right. So this is a two, three pair in the top row. Goodness. Okay, so that's not a two. This is a zero one pair. This is a zero one pair. And, oh, well, okay, right. And this being Schrödinger means these all turn yellow. This is therefore, oh, the, well, this is Schrödinger. That's total and utter nonsense. <laughs> because this square has to be at least, we, we already looked at this possibility. It can't be a zero, it can't include zero and one. So it includes three digits that are at least two, three, and four. Although they can't actually be two, three, and four now. Uh, and therefore, that this this whispery line is always going to be fixed. Um, these two are always going to be more than five, or at least five apart. Right? What about this? So this is a normal black dot relationship. So you can't put five on a normal black dot. So then there is now. Oh, this is lovely. So there is now a five in this reading a cell, and we know there's a five on that Remban. So we can actually place the five, which means. I don't know what that means. Something. Um, if the, if this is a five, do we know we know that's not a five? Um. <laughs> uh, 
uh, this square. Okay, so this square is either four, six, or eight. And that's probably important somehow. That's also four, six, or eight. Do we know? I've got, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, this is so peculiar, isn't it? So there's some digit in here, which is X. So this digit is two, three or four, I think, in this row by sort of weird Sudoku. I know there's a six up here. This digit is at least five away from six. So five away from one, so it's at least six. So this is six, seven, eight or nine. Oh, this, <laughs> this is not four. This is not four. Because remember, this is a two, three, four, five quadruple. It may not look like it, but in this puzzle, it is that. So this is now not two. So that's plonked two and five into this square now. So doesn't, no, it, I was about to say, doesn't that mean that's a two? But it doesn't, because two could go in the Schrodinger cell. Ah! So this is six or eight. <sighs> um, the, okay, this is seven, eight or nine. Oh, where does seven go around this clue then? Seven can't go in the Schrodinger cell. So that's a seven. That's huge, isn't it? Doesn't that mean this is a six? Why have I got four on this Renban? Uh, oh, I think, yeah, I think once I got this, this Renban sorted out, I could have come back to this Renban and worked out that it had to have seven on it. And then we knew it was seven, six, five. Um... Okay, so now, right, so now neither of these squares can be 7, 8 or 9, because this is a 7, 8 or 9, and that sees that one, and those two squares between them have 7, 8 and 9 in them, and that sees that one, so that has to contain 7, 8 and 9, and is, a, is, a, is the same Schrodinger cell as this, but this one's going to be different, because that needs to have a two, two, 2, 3 or 4 in it but not a seven. So now, right, so now in row two, I can write six into this square by Sudoku. And that means, <laughs> right, these squares can't have zero or one in them because there's a zero one pair here. Oh, goodness me. I mean, what on earth am I meant to do with this? Um, Is this obvious? Maybe, maybe what I'm supposed to do actually is to, well, what's that digit actually? That digit is not zero, one, two, three, five, or six. So it's four. Oh, is this a naked? Oh, this is so weird. This is a naked single, isn't it? That's a naked single. <laughs> it just didn't, I just didn't spot it. I mean, you'll have to forgive me. I hope you will. But there's a five, six, seven, eight, nine quintuple in column four which just doesn't look like that to me and there's a quadruple on zero one two and three and there are ten digits so this is a naked single four and that might mean we know that this isn't Schrodinger if this is Schrodinger it's at least two three and four which it can't actually be which is more than double that one so this is yellow this is Schrodinger and this is, I think, a two or an eight. Well, it's not a two, is it? Because there's a two, three pair in the row. So that is an eight. And if that's an eight, that's an eight, that's a nine. And now this square, which is Schrodinger, 
Uh, we'd still, I don't think we still know what it is. Four. Ah, right. Hang on, though. Because four has now come out of these squares, which makes me want to say that those squares are a zero, one, two, three, five quintuple. And they are. And the five is in one of those squares, which means these are not five. So this is a two, three, four triple. And this square is seven, nine and something. Seven, nine and five. That's a five, seven, nine Schrodinger. And this square is a 6 by Sudoku. And that's very important for the following reason. Come on, brain, think of the reason. What's the reason? What's the reason? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. This square is not 0 or 1 by Sudoku. This square... I don't know. This square's not four by Sudoku, so that's two or three. So can this be eight? No. Um, I would love to know what this square is. I think it's got a, it's got to have a seven and a nine in it. This one. I think this is seven nine x. Let's put x in. Seven nine and x. Is that somehow resolved? I'm sure a lot of this is resolved. It's just, oh, for goodness sake, this is a <laughs> This is so weird. I think, I hope you're just laughing at me though, rather than being unkind, because I just find this comedy. This is a seven, eight, nine. So it sees that square, which must therefore be a six. So that's six, that's eight, that's four. Right. Okay, so this was a 2, 3, and a 5 simultaneously, which means 4 in this row has to go there. That's not a 4. Uh, so this is, so x here is 2 or 3 now. Goodness only knows how we're ever going to know which of those it was. This square has become a 4 by Sudoku, so that's a 2 by black dot rules. This is not a 2, this is not a 2, this is not a 2. So these squares are from 0, 1, and 3. Let's put that in in case that helps us. This square is not a 4. So this square is a 4 because we've got a 2, 3 pair. Now in this column, we haven't placed 2, 3, and 0. Okay, so 2, ah, uh, whoopsie. Uh, 0, 2, and 3. Obviously this one is not 0 because of the 0 here. Um, so these two digits probably are probably the same. Um, this four is giving me a three here. So that's a four. That's a two. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that important? Hang on, let's just deal with some Sudoku first. Uh, I just messed that up. I wanted to get two and three out of that, actually. Hang on. Let's go all the way back. I want to get two and three out of this square. 2 and 3. So this is 0, 1 or 5. Okay. Um, but before I was getting discombobulated, this square, I've not put 3 in this box. So x, I think, comes out and is replaced by 3, which means that's not a 3. Oh, this must be, it must be resolved somehow. Um. <laughs> okay, where does 6 go in this row? Not in the Schrodinger cell because of this 6, so it must go here. And if that's 6, that's 5. That's not 5 anymore. So this is a 0, 1 pair. That's become a 3, 2, 3. So this is a 2. That's a 5. How are we ever going to resolve? Oh, I see. So the zero ones are going to be resolved somehow. Th oh, look, it's all been done for ages. This zero is on a is on a Renban, and this one is on a Renban. So we could have all I could have done this ages ago. I think, as as is the case with so many things in this puzzle, if you if you were to spot everything in the correct order, it would become a very simple puzzle. However, for me. It's not been a very simple puzzle. Um, okay, well, this is great, though, because we are slowly but surely getting into the bottom of the grid, I think. 
Right, so what do we need in this row? Just Is it just twos and threes? I think it is, okay. And that's a three, so that's a three. This is a two. And that must mean I know what X is up here. So let's go to this and put in five. It's the same as that one. Okay, there's probably some way I could have told that, but I didn't see what it was. So this is a seven, nine pair. This is a four, eight pair. Um, this is a one, three pair. Which means that um, this is a two, four pair. I'm trying to see if I can, I, I should be spotting other things here. I'm not doing very well. This is a three, five pair. We've still got more shredding of cells to place as well, although I'm imagining this is going to be a shredding of cell. Um, and yeah, oh gosh, I was looking at this thinking, how can I fit all the digits? I've only just been talking about this. So this is six, seven, eight, nine down here, but one of these is Schrodinger. One of these is Schrodinger. Surely it's this, isn't it? Okay, what's the minimum sum of this arrow now? Let's make this, so that would be three, two, zero. That's five, six, still six, 10. Right, okay, the minimum sum of the arrow is 10. I can't write 10 into that, so that is Schrodinger. So that's Schrodinger, that's Schrodinger. So there's an, a Schrodinger, oh, hang on, I see what I've done wrong. Yeah, in this column, it's not just zero and three, is it? It's also, it's one, three, and five. Oh, goodness. That doesn't affect the minimum, though. When I went for the minimum here, I was using one. So that that's, hasn't affected any of the maths we've just done. So now these squares are all, are all yellow. And this, this square is three of the... Right, so hang on. Can't I look at those two squares together? as a quadruple. Is that fair? I think that's fair. I think that's got to be, in some way, that is the digit six, seven, eight, and nine in those two squares, which means that that square is not an eight. That's a four. This is an eight. That's a four. That's a two. So hang on, there's something wrong in this column. Those squares can't be th three now. So this is zero and two, this is two, this is zero. So this is not zero. Right, okay, and look down here. That These can't be three either, so that needs to be one. That needs to be zero, which means that this isn't one. I've got a three, five pair in this row. That makes sense, that makes sense. Those two are a quadruple, those two are a pair. But hang on. No, something's still wrong. I've still got more digits. No, I should have put six in here as well. Look, I just can't get used to this rule. It's just absolutely impossible to get used to this rule. It still hasn't affected any of the maths because I used a one here when I was computing the minimum along this arrow. It turns out this, this arrow had an awful lot of other options as well. This can't be a six still because this is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. So that is still a three, five pair, but I, I simply do not know what this is. Although I know, I know this has got one and six in it. I'm definitely putting that down. There's definitely a one and a six in this Schrodinger cell and whatever is not used in this cell. Okay, so what do we do with this knowledge then? I haven't got a clue. What are we on? What are we on on the arrow at the moment? Well, we're on, we're on six at the moment, but we've got to get to at least twenty-one. If this was six, seven, eight, that would be twenty-one. So let's use. If I made that three, five, six, that's fourteen. No, I can't make that three, five, six because there's a one in it. So the most I can make it is one, five, six. So if I made this one, five, six, that's 12, 16, 17, 18. Ah, bobbins, that's not, well, that's not helping me, is it? 
That could be 23. Or it could be 21 if that's a 3. How do we do this? Uh, sorry, I'm sure this is obvious. I'm just not quite spotting how to do it. I've got I've got 6. This is 1 and 6. And 1 of 3 or 5. Oh. Oh, right. So the, these... So this has got... Right, whatever this is... It's got that cell. Let me just sh uh, quickly make that blue. And that cell are repeated on the arrow it, in a weird way because it, this has got a three or a five in the Schrodinger cell. So imagine it was a three. Well, then this square couldn't be a three and that plonks three on the arrow. So there's double the three or the five on this arrow as well as everything else. So we can get we can narrow down the values of this. Yeah, we can narrow this 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 sum down to one of two things because it is it's either two, four, which is six plus one and six. So that's thirteen. We're on a count of thirteen, and we are. Ah, that's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. If we double the three and add it to thirteen, we get nineteen. That's not enough. So we've got to double the five to get twenty-three. It's the only way it can work. So we, so this square has not got three in it. Uh, and this square is not a 3. This is a 5. This is a 3. This is a 3. And now and now we know the sum of this arrow is 23. So we must knock out 7 from here. Which means that's a 7, of course. This is a 7. This is a 9. And this is, I think, the solution to the puzzle. Now, I'm guessing there is absolutely no way the software is going to understand this because the software is going to be expecting to see um, ones and nines zero time ago the, sol the, the solution is correct so maybe okay so maybe so somehow it does know what the solution is even though it's got I've got cells that are unresolved I don't understand that but that's just the miracle of Sven working again um, that is a fabulous puzzle, by the way, Kristen A. Again, actually, the three puzzles that Kristen A has had on the channel now are just wonderful. Each, each so original. And this is another. It's an absolute tour de force. Um, I've rarely felt so stupid <laughs> when I've been trying to do this. It plays with your head something rotten. If Right, and here I make a deal. I make. I want to make a deal with the with the viewers. You are not allowed to write a nasty comment about my solving unless you try to do this yourself. Because if you did try and do it yourself, I think you will have found it like I did. It's impossible. It's just impossible to keep track of these things and to view them, to view triples as, you know, all of those digits simultaneously. It just plays with your head something chronic. Um, but I know, I know, I know you guys, you're, you're all very kind in your comments. And that is something I'm very appreciative for. This corner of the internet is, it's the best community you will find online. And, and that's something actually, I believe wholeheartedly. So thank you for watching me struggle through Schrodinger's Cat by Christine A. Um, I hope Rob, Rob over there in Perth, I hope, I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you think that Monty would have liked it. Um, and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.